Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> We're out here with three horses today, finishing up this field. That this will get this field finished today. We got Duke, Dan, and King out here. Yens haven't seen him yet. He is her stud on a farm. So uh, let's see if we can make his pace, guys. King up. Tell them it's a lot easier with three, dude. Yeah, it is a lot easier with three horses. Once they get to moving again, they'll uh, straighten on now. I seen that Duke was kind of ahead of the other two, but they're straight now. They have been working quite a bit today. You can see you can see right where he's been uh, plowing to. Which we could actually count the rows. One, two, three, five. You've got about 24 rows done, it looks like. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna wait for him to come back around. Twenty-four rows on both sides, of course. So he's done 24 rounds. So he's actually, he's probably, he's probably done around, he's done probably done close to, uh, probably 50 passes, which is really good. He, uh, but with three horses, they are able to handle it way, way easier. We do use three horses a lot because it, Makes it where we're actually able to plow as much ground as we need to. Two horses, if they're constantly getting tired, we have to switch them out a whole lot. Three horses, they actually don't really get tired. You could plow with them all day, and it's mainly just the walk. The reason why this strip narrows off at the end is because that electric post out in the middle of the field, when he swerves around it, it bows it into the inside. And I mean, whoa, it's absolutely turning good out here, though. Really? It's a turning good. I was kind of wanting to show them our little setup here, Dad. Yeah, we got a three horse evener on here. And uh, to make it the same length, we had to put a chain right there on that single tree. The chain, uh, it does make it to where, see what that'll do is when he pulls them out, when they stop, they kind of stop at different spots because of the way we have them set up up here. We run. An outside line to both horses of the honor, both our outside horses right here and on the other side of Duke. And that is one of our pull actual lines that he's pulling on. And then here's a line to the, we hook lines to the inside horse and the inside horse drives the other two, right? Outside horse. 
the two outside horses. So what ends up happening is they stop at different spots because they're getting pulled different ways. Yeah, but when they, they do pull out, see how it's straight? Out, same, it, they're all straight. And then the lines will stop them the same, but they stop it at different times. The lines are set up to make them be able to pull straight and uh, have the same amount of pressure on all three horses. And you can barely have to hold the lines, as you can see here. Literally just them laced over your hands is more than enough. And you see how good the double is. The triple three uh, you stay straight when the horses are coming. She over, Dan. She do. She do. And yeah, we probably could take up another link on that chain. Probably get came working just a little bit closer to even with them. But here's the thing, guys. When you're working with three horses on one playoff, really, all King is there for is just to help make it where they can, where they can pull it with ease. And as you can see, guys, they're not even really pulling on it. So really, he is actually... He is doing enough to make it where they can work all day long and they don't even get tired. Of course, a third horse will help them more than just two horses. Hey, Dad. Yes, sir. You think those three horses can run over that truck? I bet we could run over that truck. Guys, listen, when you're using three horses, it just takes a tremendous amount of uh, pressure off the two. Uh, that extra horse, it sure does make it help them. I mean, it helps them a whole lot. Try to explain lot. out the reason how this is uh, set up here. See, the, a three horse evener, the way it's set up, you see that this side is short from the center point over to here. That way that you got your two horses here with your double tree. This is a double tree, single tree, it's triple tree. Then on your long side, you put your single tree because the single horse has to have more leverage. And from the point of leverage, see this is the point of leverage. From here to here is a lot longer than here to here. And that's because, it's a, that's why they call it a three horse evener. That way this horse right here uh, don't have to pull harder than these horses. If this was shorter, First off, the horse would be in here next too close to this horse. And this just makes it a lot easier. And to make this perfectly where they're, he, see, this evens it out, makes and it where this horse is pulling the same as this horse. Yeah, they're all three pulling the same. And if you look, this single tree will go in the dead middle of these, of this actual, it don't, the middle of this single tree does not go here. It actually goes in the middle of the, the triple tree. So what, so what it does is it makes it where they're all pulling pretty well even as long as this is straight here. And yeah. the only reason that ain't perfectly straight because we got a chain on it, right, there. Right. But we rig it up, and it works. Works and it, for us. And it really helps them. It makes it where, how much easier do you think so it I makes it, Dad? 50 times easier? 100 times I'd easier? i it does make it at least 50%. Oh, 50%. I'm actually talking time. It, it works really good. We like it, we enjoy This is how it. much harder it makes, easier it makes it, guys. Because the you horses. Start, you can, start doing a lot of acreage, you need that third horse out here. Two horses can plow about two to two and a half hours. Three horses can plow all day long. All day long. So that's how much easier it makes it. Now Duke and Dan probably, Duke and Dan where there's so much bigger, bigger horses, of course makes it easier to pull because they're bigger, their weight pushing forwards. And uh, their weight makes it where they're actually pulling. Uh, it, it makes it a lot easier because they're so much bigger. Just like a little guy can't pull with a big guy. Uh, and littler horses can't pull as much as a big horse. So yes, they are able to pull a lot more than what Jane and Shorty can. Jane and Shorty, I think they're, uh, I think Jane is 16.3 and Shorty is right at 16 hands. 
So I, I, I think she is 16 hands and she's in Jane 16.3, which is a, uh, which is a pretty good weight difference, but Jane and Shorty, they do really good. Not all teams are gonna be dead matches. And I think they do very wonderful together. Of course, I'm gonna say good things about Jane and Shorty because they are my horses. These are dad's horses. Dad's horses are very well matched on these two right here, Duke and Dan. King is uh, the stud. He actually doesn't have a, uh, a another teammate. We just work King wherever we need. That is true. We actually work him with the Myers. We work him with the Gildens. And actually this summer, you'll be seeing King and either i don't know what we'll decide to do yet we'll either put king and shorty together or we'll pick shorty and dan together uh not that king and shorty will do anything but of course he is a stud and she's a mare so that might it might get them to squealing or something like that so we might end up using dan but we actually use King and Shorty together a lot. And we use King and Jane together. The reason why I wouldn't be using Jane and Shorty this summer is because Jane's having a baby. So she's gonna be pretty well out. And what I'm talking about guys is actually cultivating. We'll be doing a lot of cultivating videos after our plowing videos are up. Cultivate about 16 acres this week. Corn. Yeah, you will see a lot of cultivating videos. And then we do about four acres of cabbage and broccoli that's also true but and we'll also try to do we also do a lot of our picking with our horses too so you might see a video of us picking with the horses we do a lot with the horses like cutting hay one of these days we will have to show dad's fancy hay cutting more he has one that actually runs off a motor but we also like the uh number nines, nines too. the number nine mowers which are a uh the old style mowers we own, a, I think we own three of those. Three or four of them. But we own a couple, we own a couple of them. Actually, my number nine. Uh, I recently had sold the mare that actually went with Shorty. And I sold her and I actually went and got Jane. And that's the reason why in some of our earlier videos, I might have been talking a little bit about just recently getting Jane, because that is true. I recently got her. Uh, I had sold the last mare, got her. I thought she was 16 hands. Turns out she was 16.3. That's the reason why there's a size difference. But they work great together, so I'm probably going to use them.
All right, guys. We'll let you go for today. And I just thought y'all might want to see a three horse hitch. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you got any comments, leave them down below, and Dalton will sure like to answer them for you. Yeah, guys. And if you've got it, you know, if you guys got any questions, leave us a comment and we'll try to answer them for you guys. That's right, guys. God bless y'all. See you. Bye bye.